Hey guys, welcome back to episode 14? I think so. I think it's 14. I'm going to say it's 14 because that's my lucky number. So I think it is because you have the even numbers and I have the odd numbers. Makes sense. And it was 13 last yeah. night. Okay, we're on 14. Yeah. Episode 14 of Spill the Tea with M&G. I don't have a drink today. <laughs> What's she got? Nice. Standard. <laughs> Keeping those um, water levels up. She needs it. The girl is ill today. Yeah. And has been for a week. I feel like, I don't know if I was ill in the last podcast. I must have been. Yeah, because you had to keep stopping because I coughed. Yes. You are I literally, lucky. I had to edit so much of that because I was like, <laughs> every five seconds. So <laughs> it's just annoying, but we're getting through it. It's literally summer now. Like, it's yeah, just like probably not. Yeah. Well, you would think it's summer, wouldn't you? I've woken up and it's pissing it down. Okay, I was going to ask you how's the weather going because I didn't think it was going to hold up for that long. I was in the garden yesterday sunbathing, so I think you've just been away at a really bad time because it's honestly been so, so hot. Nice. Like, everyone's I sunburned. Know. At least I'm coming back sunburned as well, so I'll blend in. Yeah. Emily is obviously in a different um, back drop again, as she always is. I was going to say, I always am, so I actually could be yeah. anywhere right now. I might have just like completely re renovated my home at this point, but <laughs> I am on holiday. I'm away with Ben and Zal, two of our friends and their little girls, and we're staying in literally the most gorgeous villa. Like, this place is unreal. Yeah, so good. I will probably link it down below, actually, because I would just recommend this to anyone. Like, we got mm. it for such a good price as well. I think it like doubles in price next week. I don't know why. Oh, uh, does it? Is, is yeah. it some holidays yet? No, yes, I actually know. it is. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Well, everyone's at prom, aren't they? Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Mm. So then I think it's some okay, holidays. Makes sense. But we've had, when I say like 34 degree heat non-stop wow. all day, it's 27 degrees in the evening. It's hot. That is wild. That's scary because I'm going where you are right now in two weeks and I'm scared that it's just going to get hotter. I honestly think it will. But honestly, like, the best time. It's also a little bit windy as well, which helps. Yeah, it always is, isn't it? It's Greek islands. Yeah. I'm having a great time, though. It's been blooming yes. lovely. It's our last day, so I'm really sad, but it's been great. That is sad. When do you fly home? Uh, we literally have, like, a 1pm flight, so it's not that bad. Like, we're literally just going to leave oh, tomorrow okay. and go. Nice. I feel like for so long, we've said this before and like we've been guilty of we'll get the first flight out, like we'll do all this, we'll just get there at like 11am and then you're literally like in bed by 2pm because you're so tired. Yeah. Or you always try and get the last flight home because you get more time. But now I'm like, no, I'd rather just get home. Yeah, I'm very much like that. And sometimes I feel like I've packed my case and then I'm like, I've then got to like worry about my case when I'm like not with it. Like if you can't leave it yeah. at like the villa or hotel or whatever, you've then got to like carry it around with you, it's so annoying. I feel like I am on repeat with um, children's nursery rhymes. I know them all. I know Miss Rachel's songs off by heart. Yeah. I know <laughs> Moana inside out. Like, <laughs> Isn't it funny though, because you've had that for a week, but that has been Zell's life for like two years. I know, <laughs> like literally. She's just like mumbling them in the background. I'm like, how do you know all these words? And I think, these are on repeat um, in your house, like for years, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you go to St Paul's Bay? Well, we went to Lindor. Don't tell so we... me you haven't. I know. Emily! Don't shout at me. <laughs> okay, so we went... to place in the world. <laughs> Someone recommended it to me as well, like the um, people that look after the house, they were like, you need to go mm. to St Paul's Bay. Anyway, this is even more annoying than just not going. So we went to Lindos for one night because we've been like in the villa every night. Brad's been cooking for us every night. Like it's been super, super chilled. And mm. then we're like, right, we'll go to Lindos because it's literally 15 minutes away. Walk down, obviously we've got two prams. Zell's yeah, in her little slide. Like, she's friendly. slipping down the hill, like yeah. holding on to me. Um, ben had the buggy, so like the kids are absolutely fine. And they were having a lovely time. And then we get to the bottom. And because I didn't realize Lindos is like Mykonos where you, you could get lost there so quick yeah it's like, like so a quick. maze isn't it yeah i wasn't expecting that i was expecting it to be like this because really? like a bay yeah and then yeah. i got down there and i was like where the hell are we oh man i'm so sad you didn't go to st paul's bay that makes me sad well, for you we went to the sign <laughs> you are rubbish <laughs> that does not count but it's really weird because we got to the like we literally got to the sign that said st paul's bay and obviously that's all you ever hear about and yeah. there were people running golf buggies up and down. So I was like, well, yeah. let's see if we can get on one of them. Anyway, Ben goes up to this guy and he was like, no, there's no restaurants down there. And I was like, yes, there you is. Like, I swear yeah. there is. It was the weirdest thing. We were all hungry by that point. So we literally just went to yeah. an Italian in Greece, but it was yummy. Um, yeah. But yeah, didn't go. Oh, that's so sad. If anyone is on the way to Rhodes, 
then there is a restaurant in St Paul's Bay called Tambacchio and it is the best restaurant ever. It's so good. Sorry, Emily. It's, but it's all I kept seeing on TikTok. And I could see it on the map. I was like, he's a liar. I can see it. Yeah. It I meant really to weird. say to you before you went, actually, like, it's like probably not very child friendly, but if you do want to go then book, like you have to book two weeks in advance. They don't let anyone yeah, book like before thought. or like after. Like on that day, they will be fully booked. Right. Please tell me you've got it booked then. Yeah. <laughs> have you been there before? Yeah, we went last time, it's so good. I just love friends. Mm. Yeah, I'm excited. Matt said this morning he's still in bed, he's having a lay in. Um, I was so like, what do you want to do this morning? And I was like, I'm filming with Emma at half nine. And he was like, this is my last day off, like before we go away. And I'm like, what? Oh so that's crazy so, and when do you go next wednesday not this wednesday next wednesday oh. so yeah that means working over the weekend bless his heart but i was like the hell i was like you need this holiday <laughs> yeah literally you both do that you both like get to the point where you're like you need to go away but at least you can go away and just completely chill yeah that's true have you kept up with love island mm. Apparently it's so good and I'm a week behind. I've seen snippets so we can talk about it. Like I don't mind spoilers. Are you sure? Because there's a yeah. lot. Okay, go from where did I last see it from? I couldn't even tell you. Mm. Oh, Connor came in. Connor. Who's Connor? The guy that came in when Matilda came in. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Okay. So he yeah. coupled up with Grace. Okay, saw this. And broke Grace and Jesse and Joey up. Okay. Um, and then she done this whole thing where she was like, she was having a conversation with him and she was kind of egging it on as if like she wanted him to pick her. I don't right. know if she was playing a bit hard to get, but it did not work in her favour. So she's now in a couple with Connor. Still. Um, e yes, still okay. now. And anyway, another bombshell comes in called Jesse. And another guy, I can't remember his name, but he has gone on a date with Jess and I'm not really convinced that he actually likes her. I think he's just gone in there to be safe because Jess is single. And I, I do not like her at all. She gives me like... Really? She vibes. Yeah, she's a bully. Like, I don't like her at all. Um, it's weird. I feel like in the week that I've not watched it, everyone suddenly likes Harriet, which I think yeah. is what happened last night with yeah. her. Um, and not that people didn't like her, but I feel like it, people were very much like online taking the mick out of her and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I and, just um, think she's really mean. Harriet or Jess? Jess. Really? That's yeah, so like Harriet does like stupid shit, but it's kind of innocent. Like, I mean, yeah. this is obviously just my opinion. Um, but yeah, she just gives me bully vibes. And there was a scene where they were doing a game, like a challenge. Mm -hmm. And the guy, the Welsh guy is coupled up with Nicole, what's his name? Kieran. Kieran. He mm -hmm. was going in on um, Harriet, like, don't make a woman feel like that in front of everyone. Like, my opinion has really changed on him as well. Like, he was really mean. And then Jess was, like, really going in on her. Like, the poor girl is sat there crying in front of everyone and you're, like, putting your two pieces in. Like, don't do that. So mean. Savage. Harriet and um, Ronnie have gone. Really? Yeah, the viewers like vote them out. I do think it's very fixed this year though, because do you? how how did Grace and Connor stay in as a couple when they're not anywhere romantically compatible? Yeah. And Ronnie and Harriet have gone. Like it doesn't Probably make because sense. But they want like I think they just want Joey Essex in it because they're obviously yeah. getting reviews from him. But then yeah, for sure. Yeah, for Harriet and wanting to go. Harriet was like primetime TV. I loved it. I'm sorry, I know oh she was God, in drama like, and all that, but I loved yeah. it. I was like, keep the girl. I in. do think like she's just she was just a bit dramatic. Like she's just a girl. Yeah. Like she's a young girl that's she's just fine. Like, yeah, I'm just a girl. <laughs> um, anyway, so another bombshell came in called Jesse, okay. and took Joey on a date. Yeah. And he had gone on this date and he was being like really flirtatious, like with this girl, who was like. You're really my type, rah, rah, all this shit. Anyway, comes back into like after their date into the villa, tells Grace that he's like not closed off, but like it only has like feelings for her, like they have a hug and a kiss. And then he takes this Jessie girl up to the terrace, and I was screaming at the TV and kissed her. I saw this because he was speaking to Umar about it, and she was like, What yeah. have you done? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. But, and he's just like, I can do it because I'm, I'm single. And I'm like, but you're, you're literally like confusing people. 
one is this just for tv two mm -hmm. if it's not how is a man like him ever ever gonna settle down you're 30 years old at this I know. point what are you doing yeah like it's really funny because like i've spoken to all my clients about it and everyone's got the same opinion on it they're like yeah. how would you ever trust that man like regardless if you're actually in a relationship or not yeah even if you get over that like but also dating him like he's gonna be one of those people that's like dating other people you just don't yeah know like serial data yeah 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 so tonight is Catherine and Moore, and i'm very excited about it because obviously the girls and the boys get split up don't they or maybe they yeah. won't legit maybe they'll split up some girls and some boys i don't know because do you feel like we're at a point where there's solid enough relationships yet or not for it to be like no, I, personally i don't think so kieran mm -hmm. and nicole have told each other that they love each other shut which, up yeah, which I think is very premature, and that I actually so don't. Dramatic. I don't think it's organic at all. Like I don't believe it at all. Not one bit of me. What's their age gap? Because he's like he's like twenty one. I don't know how old yeah, she I is. Yeah, I don't know how old she is. I maybe like I'd say her, she's like same age as us, like twenty six, twenty seven. Okay. As if I've just referred wow. to us, it's twenty six. <laughs> <laughs> I think we forget though. First series, John proposed. Was the same John? Yeah, was his name John? I can't remember. I want to say that's what came to my mind. John. He literally asked someone to marry him in Love Island. Yeah, and then they didn't win. And then. How embarrassing. They, they, no, they didn't win, did they? No, I don't think so. They didn't win, and then they broke up after Love Island. Like, of course they did. I'm like, just here so dramatic. for the great TV. Like, it does yeah. make fabulous television. I know. I'm going to catch up. Our flight home is like four hours, so I'm going to catch up. Amazing. Back to back. I literally paid for ITV Premium so I could download them. <laughs> yeah, I've got that as well. I would definitely watch the last, like, four. I probably wouldn't bother okay. with... Like, some of them were a bit crap. When it was, like, yeah. Joey and Grace were just, like, bickering. But the last few, it's been heated. Really? Like, yeah. the love island we know and love. Yeah, that exact thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't get the Joey thing. Like, he literally... His whole, like, first initial interview thing was like oh i've seen people get married and like have kids from this show and it's like you're not acting like that's what you want out of this show no. so like realistically do you want that because you're not like you don't you're, you're not joey sure it. yeah yeah um, so i wonder weird. how much he's been paid i don't know but then it's interesting because like the others won't be being paid so how is that fair yeah i'd love to know i always think things like that I'm apparently like, they paid? get paid so they'll the producers will be like how much are your outgoings and they get yeah. paid their outgoings mm -hmm. um and obviously when you're in there you're not spending any money are you so no it's true it's i'd be like uh, i live in a penthouse house in chelsea <laughs> yeah Do you kind of my bills like... are ten thousand a month <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks ago obviously patsy and i can't even remember his name the guy that you fancy when he first went in yeah I didn't fancy him for very long though. They did an interview and they were talking about Ronnie's hair. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so funny. But it was so funny because obviously everyone was like trying to figure out what the hell is going on with Ronnie's mm -hmm. hair and all this stuff. And obviously they said he was really open about the fact that it was hair fibres. And Sam will probably yeah. kill us for saying this. But <laughs> our friend, our friend once bought them just to give them a go. I feel like there's a lot of boys out there that are like, don't really love my hairline. So Sam bought yeah. these hair fibres. They were black, like jet black. Yeah, and I mean, like, for one, he bought the wrong colour, so it was like a terrible match. We literally made him look like the cover of Drake's album. <laughs> she let his brain on his head like, like this. Chiseled beard as well. That was the funniest thing ever. They went everywhere though, and like, yeah. there was a TikTok going viral. It had like hundreds of thousands of likes, and then um, everyone was like, Ronnie's hair fibres are on Jess's shoulder. It was literally her birthmark. <laughs> oh. She has a little birthmark here, yeah, and everyone I've was like, that. oh my god, his hair fibers have got on her, and I was like, no, they haven't. I have noticed that some of the girls have been using them, like, when they've had their hair scraped back, like, in this bit here. Do you reckon they're like, Ronnie, can I, can I just borrow that? Yeah, it's a different colour to Ronnie, Ronnie's is black. But yeah, I saw Nicole had used it, um, oh, she had her hair, like, scraped back, and I was like, oh, like, you can see it, because they've not, like, blended it, they've just gone... Looks like a big so you would notice away. things like that. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be needed soon with these slip wrap ones. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, we've all got it. Let's be honest. Look, we've yeah. got a little sad, little thin bit. But you've got to start a hairline somewhere. Some people's it's just really bad, isn't it? Yeah, true. Still going very much grey. As Brad keeps pointing out to me on this one. Yeah. Stuff. Do you know what? I am as well. Are you? Yeah. That makes me happy. You've never had a great hair. Yeah. I've had one and I pulled it out and then it never came back. But yeah, there's a few in there. Brilliant. Yeah, At least we've grown all together. Sad. Although, because I'm blonde, it does blend. But yeah. I need these roots done. They are so dark. 
Yeah. I'm enjoying this hair though. Really? Mm. It's also got really it long. It's a haircut. Yeah, it has. I'm gonna film a hair tutorial for TikTok because look at my slash last night. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> from like the front of the at the front. Yeah. <laughs> I slept with it like, it wasn't wet, but it was like damp. And this bit is just not a friend. Look how curly it goes. It does, isn't it? Yeah, it just goes like frizzy. Yeah. yeah I'm just gonna film a little TikTok bit. Zell's so been um, like scrunching her hair overnight. It looks so nice. Yeah. It's got so long. And she just like, so has it wet and then mousses it and scrunches it. It looks so mm -hmm. great. I'm like yeah, saying that like, done straight in it. <laughs> I must say from you guys, the pictures have been great. Well done, 10 out of 10. It's been so fun, like, getting dressed up in the evening and just, like, taking loads of pics. We've literally not even gone yeah. anywhere. We've just been getting dressed up for no reason. We're sat eating dinner, like, hey. And the boys are, like, in their dress. Like, girls are, literally look so cute as well. We've got an umbrella that we've, like, put over the pool. So they're just in the pool all day. Like, it's so good. I love that. Bless them. Literally living their best lives. Uh-huh. And they have no idea. And I was just, like... Zell was saying her personality like really come out this trip because she's like proper dancing yeah. around like laughing Aww. at things It was so funny last night we were eating dinner and Ben was just making them like how and then if Nyla starts crying Pia will go, go over to her and she'll go boo boo like trying Aww, to stop her crying drops. She just Bless like copies her. anything we do. She's so <laughs> cute. I literally can't go over it It's just so fun like having Floss the same age like they're just fun yeah. at this age. They just do so much I was gonna say I think like two is probably definitely the most challenging age for parents mm -hmm. but m the funnest age for me i just love the age i think it's so yeah. funny like zell was trying to explain to her yesterday the wi-fi has not been working Pia's always like what's happened what's happened like as if because it's gone off and zelly was like right let me explain this to you so she was like the internet makes that tv work and it just <laughs> isn't working around Pia's like okay and uh -huh. then she goes baby shark and like she doesn't get it no <laughs> you and have so to like, have like, baby shark you have to have wi-fi okay yeah because like I don't care, like make it work. What have you done with your summer in the UK then? Um, what have I done? I've worked, so it's been really fun. Oh, I bet it's been hot in there. Yeah, it's been so hot, like ridiculously hot. It's like I've got a little aircon unit in there obviously, but like as mm -hmm. soon as the hairdryer goes on, it basically is non-existent, like it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. There was a really, really hot day on, I think it was Tuesday, and my first two clients of the day was absolutely fine because it's like quite cool in there. And then it got to like midday, and I was blow drying my client's hair, and by the time I dried the top, the like underneath was like wet again. And I was just like, God, oh, really? So annoying. I just feel bad for them. Like, yeah, like just stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care if I get like hot and sweaty. It's my job. Mm. But like, when you're sat there paying for a service and you're like hot, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I've, I've done no, my best. Literally. I bought my clients nice cold um, Coke Zeros to have in the mm. fridge, so when their colours developing, like I've I've tried it all, but it's just. Once you're hot, you're hot, aren't you? Yeah, that's a problem. UK heat is different as well. Yeah, so different. I literally sat in the garden for like an hour last night and I've like topped up my tan. Yeah, you're looking bronze. But like on holiday, I'd be sat there all day to get this colour. Weird, isn't it? Uh, we went to the beach one night uh -huh. with Sam and Amelia. It was like 26 degrees in the evening here. God. And um, we went to the beach and as we were driving, it was getting darker and darker. And I thought, oh no. We got there. What, it was in the sky. Yeah. We got there. We got to Wells. It was 17 degrees and overcast and cloudy. And you, I saw, you really couldn't saw see it. in front of you. Yeah, she said it was, it was horrible. Really foggy. Yeah, it's rank. I was like, why have we come here? Yeah, that happened to us in LA as well. We drew, drew yeah. like 40 minutes and it was like we'd literally changed countries. Been it was in so a weird. different bloody country, yeah. I don't know why that happened. I'm on the coast sometimes. I got out of the car and I was like, <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> has your airbed survived that you Airbed had your has not been pumped up because I've not okay. had enough time to enjoy yeah. it. Like I've not had, my only day off this week was Thursday and I was a bit sad because we lost our family mm. dog. So Very sad. sad. Um, so I was literally at mum's all day. So the airbed has not actually been pumped up. No one prepares you for losing like a family dog. Like it's actually horrific. Mm -hmm. I've, like, like I think when I read your story and like you were saying that I related to it in the sense of like for us when mm -hmm. we lost the girls for us we go home and that that hole isn't there until you go back yeah. home I'm literally going cold yeah. thinking about it yeah when I was younger this is not very nice but I had two guinea pigs and one of them died and then like a week later the other one died because they're like a pack aren't they and they like yeah. give up and I said to mum I was like I really hope Peaches doesn't like give up and die now that'd be really sad how old is Peaches? 
uh, 12, so okay. she's older still, but um, she's been fine. She came, they came over last night and had dinner, and I've literally got Peach's hair everywhere, as well as Bruce's hair, which is great. Perfect, because they're both dark. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, it's just really awful. No one prepares you for it, and just cuddle your dogs a little bit tighter every single day because you don't get forever with them. Yeah. I agree, it's, it's the so, hardest thing. You can't even explain it to people, mm. it's awful. No, it's like, I've lost family members before and I hate to say it, but I think it's as bad as. Really? Yeah, like generally. Yeah. Because like with like aunties and uncles, like I wouldn't see them every day. Mm -hmm. Whereas I saw Tallulah basically every day. Mm -hmm. And like my routine at work, I've worked for my parents like home salon. Um, so I'd go in, I'd put my bag like indoors, I'd put my stuff in the fridge and then she'd be in her bed, like she was always in her bed and I'd give her a little cuddle, I'd be like, morning to do that. And she'd pop her little head up and like pop back down again. It's like mm -hmm. the next few days when I then had work, I was like, oh, I don't want to go inside. It feels Literally. weird. Mum said that she went up, um, she's got like a routine, she'll come downstairs, make a coffee, see Tallulah, she'll then go out for a wee and then mum will then take a coffee upstairs and go like get ready. Mm -hmm. And she'll hear like a little tiptoe like behind her up the stairs and mum was like, I didn't have that. I was like, oh, bless her. Sad. But mum was like, I'm not getting any more dogs. She's like, I can't go through this anymore. And I was like, yes, but you'd go through this like maybe a yeah. week of feeling really, really down for like 14 years of like pure happiness. Yes, yeah, so true. And she was a, so she was hard. such a true for that little dog. I remember like I'd mm -hmm. always be like, how's to do that? I'd always ask her like, how is <laughs> like, she? Because she nearly died again. <laughs> yeah, literally, literally, but she's fine. She's here. Like she's fine this morning. It was literally. Yeah. She just went on and on. She had the best life. Yeah. Sure, was the best. But yeah, no, I'm fine. It's just one of those things. It is, and I hate to say it, but time is a healer. Like, you do learn to live with everything. It just gets you go easier, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I still have days now where I cry about the girls. It's awful. I think you do. Like, something will, like, remind you of them, and you'll be like, oh, man. Yeah. I miss this guys. But it's mm. so bizarre to me that dogs don't say a word to you. They never give you advice. You never like oh, no. go to them with a problem. They can't tell you anything. Yet you have never felt so much love for something in your life or like miss mm -hmm. something so much. It's the weirdest thing. They're just yeah, there. It's so strange. They don't actually like physically like give you anything. You give them like everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny. Um yeah, it's just the worst. Like, losing anything or anyone is just terrible. Yeah. Um, it's just like when... So I lost my auntie when I was quite young and she was like a second mum to me. She was like mum's best friend. I'd see her like most days as well. Like, she'd always be over. And it wasn't until like maybe like a few months later that I think it really registered yeah. to me that like she was gone. It's like when you see something or I'd be like, oh, I'm just going to like message Nikki and then I'm like, oh, like, I can't like mm. it's so like it's so weird being like oh that person would love that like say a TikTok for example like mm. I'd send you a TikTok and then one day it's like I can't like send that yeah do you know yeah, what I mean so. yeah yeah and then it's not until it's then weird. that you like like if you're thinking of calling a loved one now or like thinking of going to give your dog a hug now like go and do, do it, it now yeah yeah don't take and guess it because then one day yeah like, you say it, it's like oh weird I can hear the kids I was gonna say can you hear that <laughs> and breath <gasps> That ended on a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a negative note, didn't it? We but do like to keep it here. <laughs> yeah, we do. And it is literally like, this is honestly just me and M FaceTime. And like, this is how I catch up. Because go, it goes like this, and then it goes like yeah. this, and then it goes like this, and like this. We start talking about some random stuff that we've seen on TikTok, and then we're like, yeah, but on a serious note, and then we'll go back to the random stuff we've seen on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on a serious note, I'm having a really bad day. We are going to wrap this one up here because I'm sweating. I've turned the AC off for this and I'm very warm right now. And George is going to get on with her Sunday. Oh, what yeah. are you doing? Well, that's very miserable. Uh, well, we're going to take the dogs for a walk, go to the gym, and that is about as far as we got with our plans. But weather has other ideas, so yeah, we shall so see. Crap. I might wait to walk the dogs later, but they do like having a morning walk. Yeah, they'll just be sat staring at you thinking, I don't care that it's raining. And eat. Well, Margot does. Yeah. Margot does, cares. yeah. <laughs> Bruce would be out there right now. Margot would prefer to be in bed. So. Oh, bless her. Is she all recovered from her up? I know you're Yeah, fine. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's absolutely fine. It's healed really, really well, actually. And she's had all her checkups and everything, and everything's good. So. Great. It's fine. 
I feel like we need to update everyone else because we're like updating each other. I'm like, wait, you guys know about that, so you need an update. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Thank you guys so much for watching. Our next one will be over on George's channel, so make sure you go over and subscribe. I'll leave our Instagrams on screen. All that good stuff. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.